Did that frustration drive you, drive this team, you think? To... Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, I think everybody feels the same way. I think, um, you know, not finishing uh, several of these games and, and um, not getting the results that uh, we want is, is uh, you know, yeah, can drive everybody to, to work harder and, and to uh, put ourselves in a position to finish those games. Is the frustration just based off uh, how much of it, I should say, is, you know, the game and the result of that game, or how much is it really the, the entirety of the whole situation, do you think? Uh, I mean, no one's happy with where we are. Um, you know, I think there's uh, everyone understands that um, we're leaving a lot out there. We need to play better and we need to execute and win. So no one's happy with that. Um, I think we're all motivated and driven to, to fix it and to play well. So whatever emotion goes with that or, or however you need to get yourself ready to go, I think um, guys are doing that and uh, we'll be ready to go. Are you at all surprised by the reaction? I think when they saw you blow off steam, they were going, I like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really didn't see much of the reaction on that or hear much about it, but I try to do uh, a good job controlling myself and, um, you know, controlling my emotions. Uh, you know, that time I didn't do as good a job, but, um, you know, it's football and, and you're going to, you know, we're into it. We care about it a lot and, um, you know, frustrating when you don't get the result. Why do you try to control them? I mean, there's... Obviously, I think I play saying... better. I think I think you think better, you play better, and, and uh, there's a time and a place for everything. But um, yeah, I found like I'm I'm able to play my best, think my best, prepare my best when I'm in control. Is that a game the first time one against Washington? You look back and you say we definitely should have won that. Um, I think we did some good things. Uh, we put ourselves in a position to win. We didn't. We didn't win the game, so that's all that matters. And you know, whether you say we should have or we could have, it, it really doesn't doesn't make a difference. We gotta we gotta make the plays that that uh, that finish it and win the game. So um, thought we played. You know played well at times and, and ultimately didn't do enough. Daniel, a lot of these games are, you know, the numbers are here. You know, the, the points are, you know, cracking 20 is very difficult for this team. Um, do you, like, go into every game or this game and, like, expect a lot of points, you know? I mean, are you hoping for them, expecting for them? Because the numbers are just not there. You know, it's not like you're 40 one day and 12 the next. So do you go in and say, no, I expect we are going to score a lot of points? Yeah, we expect to play well and score points every week. Um, I think we always go into it with that approach. Uh, we got to do a better job finishing and um, keeping from uh, from hurting ourselves in those situations that, you know, the stuff that's keeping us from scoring those points. But we always expect to expect to score and play well. Why do you believe it hasn't been? This isn't week one or week two. I mean, you're eight weeks into the season and the same problems are still there. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we've got to... Uh, we've got to clean it up. Starts in practice, starts in meetings, starts in the walkthrough. Uh, everything we do uh, has to be a little bit better. So uh, that's where we're focused now. And uh, when it comes time on Sunday, we got to do it. How much differently, how much difference do you see the way teams are sort of handling the leak as you move along here in the season? Um, yeah, I think every team's different. Um, how they plan and how they, um, you know, what they want to do on defense. But you can see, yeah, teams showing, uh, showing some respect to him and knowing that we want to get him the ball in certain situations. So um, we'll continue to, to trust him and count on him to make plays. What's the counter to that for you guys? Like when you see teams, okay, they're rolling coverage or they're doing different things to try to make sure, you know, they have two guys on them at all time or whatever it may be. I think there's certain routes and concepts you can run that, you know, still allow him to get open. And obviously it opens up things for other people when he gets a lot of attention. We talked. We, I'll just can I just ask one more. We talked about the uh, you know keeping your emotions in check and, and things like that. But your head coach seems to think that that's something that he wants to see more of. So how how do you where do you find that balance? I mean, you know between. Um, yeah, I mean, being too stoic. I've always and, and, played. Yeah. I've always played uh, really hard. I've always uh, played tough. I've played with an edge. Um, I believe in that strongly, and that's something I've always do every time I step on the field. How I show that, um, how much I, yeah, yell. You know, I don't think that's directly correlated with that. I always play with an edge and play with a chip. Um, and there's a time and place to to maybe show some of that, but. 
uh, doesn't change how hard I play or, or with the doesn't change my my edge at all. Do you care one way or another that he brought up after the game that you moved the tight end over on that uh, the strip sack? Uh, I mean that's what happened, so I uh, understand that. Some, I mean, a lot of times that probably is kept in house. Maybe just to say that that take back or surprise you at all? No, I mean we had a conversation with them, and um, you know I knew what I was going to say, so understood. Yeah, understood him saying that, and um, Jermaine was expecting help. He didn't get it, so um, yeah, fine with everybody knowing that.